a is equal to pi times r squared, and we're solving this equation for r. So we'll start by isolating the r squared. So since it's being multiplied by pi, we'll just go ahead and divide both sides by pi like this. So these cancel, and so we have a over pi, and that's equal to r squared. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead and write the r squared on the left-hand side. So let's write it as r squared equals a over pi. Now, to get rid of the 2, what we can do is take the square root on both sides. And whenever you take the square root and you have a variable squared, uh, what happens is you get a plus or minus. So here we get r equals plus or minus the square root of a over pi. And you could leave it like this, or you could simplify it more. If you wanted to simplify it more, what you would do is you would take the square root of the numerator and divide it by the square root of the denominator. And then you would rationalize. Again, this is kind of an optional step. Um, so then you would multiply by the square root of pi over the square root of pi, which is really 1. You're just multiplying by 1 in a clever way. So this is equal to plus or minus. In the numerator, you would combine these. So you would get the square root of a pi. And in the denominator, the square root of pi times the square root of pi is just pi. So that would be, I suppose, the simplified answer or the rationalized uh, answer to the question. I hope this video has been helpful.